So yeah, does that not tell you everything about this game? <laughs> What's up, internet? This is um, the christening of my Japanese PS2 with all one game I own for it. Uh, I, I've tried to own a import PS2 for many, 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 many years now. Um, I think I've actually gone through three modded PS2s just to try and get like something to play imports and. I got so pissed off I eventually just bought a Japanese one, in fact I got the really, really ultra sexy Gundam Gold one, because I'm a huge Gundam fan, but this is the one game I've got for it. And nowhere on this game, as far as I can tell, does it ever actually tell you the full name of this game, like it does in the box. So I will just read it out to you. The full name of this game is Dupe Jellytown Original Pointy Sweet Flavored Point, then some Japanese stuff I can't read. Addicted 100% pure point. So that is exactly what this game is about. And that is what the game developers wanted you to know about this game off the bat. Um, I was originally going to record this for um, a gameplay video, just, just as an archival thing. But then I saw that opening and I went through the intro. Or rather, the opening things. Oh, and it's a Japanese game, so X is no, Y is yes for some stupid reason. I don't know why they did it. And there's a full English option. <laughs> now, I, I want to put this into perspective for you for just a moment. This is not available anywhere other than Japan. You can't play this on an English thing. So, for it to be entirely in English is weird to say the least. Oh, this is weird, but uh, let's, let's try and get our name in there. That cursor's way too big and way too unwieldy. Yes. How old am I? Um, I'm hoping I can put in double digits here. Yes. Voice in English. We're we're doing this. <laughs> this is uh, this is how it has to be. Just 100% in English, because it's a Japanese game. Also, the cutscenes are in like a completely different. Uh, perspective for some reason, so it's not quite as perfectly centered on screen as the title screen was, which is what I tested this with. These characters are special. Awesome. <laughs> uh, this is gonna be fun. You can't touch this. That's registered trademarked, I'm pretty sure. Okay. <laughs> this is our endearing protagonist. Okay, I can run around, Beyond I can here jump. Beyond here is panoramic gardens. Wow, that sounded really disinterested. Fancy name, but it's really just a place with a view. Say, you wanna go? It's too dangerous for a kid to go alone. Yes, let's go. <laughs> oh, I can't. Okay. Uh so there does not appear to be a camera control feature. That's interesting. What's your deal? Okay. Okay. <laughs> sure. 
It's a thing. It's running away. I must have it. It's another thing. I think they're like sentient uh, eclairs or something. Oh, it's been forever since I've had an eclair. What's your deal? These honey drop donuts are delicious. They really hit the spot. Awesome. Now again, camera control would be nice. What's your deal? Mommy send you to run an errand for her, did she? What a little man you are. Well, uh, at least the text translation seems to be accurate. That's nice. The voice acting seems to be using all sorts of crazy ass uh, accents for no discernible reason, which is weird. But what's over here? Hey, it's board guy. Hey, board guy. Okay. It looks closed off. What's your deal? I can't talk to you. I can't jump on you. You're useless. I don't know what your deal is, but you're fantastic. It's British lazy. Mom teach you never to follow strangers. Just remember that not everyone is your friend. That can never be. Everyone's the friend. That's the point of friends. Because... What's that famous quote? A stranger is just a friend you haven't met yet? From uh, that one play or whatever? Help! That's an interesting thing to see on any given day. I, I mean, so is literally everything in this game. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, our protagonist is a very spirited dumbass, as far as I can tell. Well, granted, that's most protagonists. That's not how you spell wow. It looks like we fell into a sewer. Anywho, thanks to you, I'm alright. Thanks? What's your name, little guy? It's pointy, not little guy. Okay. I'm nice to meet you, you little pointy. Are you alone? Where's your mom? These static animations are a little weird. I mean look at her arms. What is she doing? I think you wandered off. Yes. What do you say I help you find your way home? You mean it? Yippee! For sure. But I gotta ask you a little thing. I gotta wonder if they used, like, the actual Japanese voice actors to do the English dubbing, because this is actually not horrible for that. I mean, it's, it's not necessarily good, but... Having played games that had Japanese voice actors do the English dub, those are terrible usually. Uh, anywho, Jelly Town is a the people have gone bonkers. Okay. If you can help. I'll bet you can use the points. Points. I'll fix the people who've turned into wacko loons. Wacko loons. Okay. How? With this. Ta -da! A stick. Yeah. That's not what that said. <laughs> That's a thing that happened, apparently. <laughs> Oh dear lord, it's Cartman. But I'm playing witness to some weird ass second second. Behind this toxic tongue is a heart of well, anywho, bear with me, okay? <laughs> Come on, Nidin babe. Stop calling me babe, Roundy. Sorry about that, honey. Uh. You listen here, point for brain. You will help this little boy for me. And since he's lost, you're gonna find his way home. Take a point, Pip. 
girl? Besides, I know the drill. What the hell did she get that thing from, anyway? Yeah, let's do the whole Megillah teach me. Okay, here's how you use these things. Points can only be used by the pure and, uh, stupid at heart. I'm guessing we're the latter? Anywho, they are mysterious things. They possess a great secret. This round ball is a point. There are red, blue, yellow points. Try wrapping your hands around it. With a square, okay. Oh, I gotta be on the ground. That a boy. Push again and try throwing it. Okay. Ah. Interesting. What, by just walking into them? Like that? The point you're holding gets mixed with the one you bump. Okay. You throw a point, it disappears after a while. Until you get used to it, just try bumping them. Anywho, practice makes perfect. So be sure and listen to point's advice. That may be a little difficult for Brainiac. <laughs> this game is weird. I don't know if it's come across yet. Hey, Green, get the point out, will ya? Green, I'm talking to you. Yes, you, Green. Green? An inexperienced grasp with point for Brain. Got it? Here we go. The enduring tagline of this game. <laughs> Nasty sewerage. Okay. Probably shouldn't touch the blueberry ones. This game. Actually, I did. I did that in the tutorial when I didn't understand what you were asking me to do. Okay, so these are both trampolines, platforms, and some kind of weird color changing devices. Can I pick up the meat? No. I will admit, the lack of like an actual texture on these things. Kind of makes it weird to understand where they are spatially. Oh, that jump. There we go. Okay, that's kind of neat. Hey, Green. Bet you didn't know that when you mix two points, it turns into the remaining colors of the three, the one you didn't mix. Yes, yes, I did. disappear if you mix the same color. Try it out if you don't believe me. So what's the value of the color, though? Okay. Huh. Hey Green, bet you didn't know you can mix points with different things. Interesting. The person's feeding's changing, you mix with a point. Try it out on that little witch card. Okay. I super friendly guy now. So this one does. Oh, I made him depressed. Oh, now he's angry. Interesting, so... There's some kind of like weird color-coded emotional mabob. Okay, that's kind of neat. Hey Green, bet you didn't know the point feelings worked themselves out. When you want to cure a feeling fast, Mix in the same color point to erase the point inside. Okay, simple enough. That's a 2D sprite. Points in the body break down like this. Red is angry, blue is sad, yellow is happy. 
understand the feeling a lot can happen. It's a different combo. Sometimes the people turn into airheads, I can read. <laughs> That's not nice. Can I make them fight each other? Can I jump on these guys? No. I think these are just tutorial guys, so I won't do anything if you piss them off. That's a weird effect for, like, water spring. I kind of like that, though. Yeah! Oh, yeah! Whoa, okay, now, camera again would be useful. <laughs> but we don't have that luxury. Whoop! Let's see if there's... How do I... Uh, shoulder buttons, because that's... Vibration, sound, voice... Yeah, none of that's useful to me. I've at least included an option to make uh, confirm and deny swapped. I mean, you've done everything else to make this play like an English game for whatever baffling reason. Boop. Okay, you can use these hit switches. Good to know. Throw! That's not a very forceful throw. I could have problems if you're trying to actually get that somewhere. Looky, look, Pony. Maybe we can get out through there. An exit with no way to get to it. And we're in a giant arena. <laughs> oh, voice acting. <laughs> What? <laughs> Help me out. Make me up some toxic coins on the double. Chop chop. <laughs> nanny nanny boo boo. Enjoying my homemade super califragilistic FPLidocious Miss Eileen. There it is for all to see spelled out for you. As do most people in this world, I'm sure. That's awesome. <laughs> That's also pretty fantastic right there. Okay, let's go. She looks blue, so use a blue one. Ow. Oh, that throw needs a little more force behind it. There we go. I feel like you could have led with that, ow. Future refused to change. Yeah, yeah, I know. So, what exactly made her grow like 50 feet tall? Oh, there's an auto center button. That's vaguely more useful. I take it back. There is camera control, just not much of it. Still, you know, that's something. So, are we gonna throw her in jail or something now? Lolo, you little witch! Stupid, stupid, double stupid! Give me the toxic coins! Nanny, nanny, boo, boo! I already used them all on the people in town! 
That's not nice. Ah, <laughs> uh, the voice acting. It has its high points, that's not one of them. <laughs> I'm still trying to process the opening of this game right now. Listen, Pointy. Everyone in town has gone bonkers from that girl's toxin. You are the only one who can cure them. The people That's convenient. will help you, so you are not alone. Give it your best shot. Yippee, yay! You literally just said I'm alone. I'm the only one I can do. <laughs> How? Wh what? <laughs> Either pee or get off the pot. Okay. This is certainly something. Okay, so we gotta find people who are. That's not the button I wanted. That's not it. That's the button I want. Okay, that's terrible, but it's still something. So we gotta find people who have messed up feelings and then hit them with magical feeling orbs to make them more rotund or something. What's your deal? Town is so big. How big is it, you ask? Well, it's big, okay? Wanna know more? Not really, no. <laughs> well, okay then. Kurt goes double ears up and listen. We are At least I have ears. Mr. Tennessee. Christmas Tree Head. And up to the north, you've got your snow land, right? And down south, you've got your panorama garden. To the west is John's Lake. It looks prettier than it is thick. To the east is a deep forest called Guda Guda Jungle. The well, animations could have done with a lot more work. Jelly down in a nutshell. Because the animations just look like the characters flailing. So... Where's someone with emotional damage or some nonsense? <sighs> Donuts. Donuts, 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 donuts. Uh. You little sentient dog donut things. There we go. Well, it took 21 seconds. Huh. Okay. Variety store. It's open, but I can't go in. I think that's not open. I think that's the opposite of open. guy named John runs this lake. He might just bite you if you enter without permission. Someone runs a lake? What? I'm not seeing anyone with like emotional damage or what whatever this game is on about. Could be I've just gone in the complete opposite direction of where I need to go though. for an adult to fit through, but what's that on the other side? Let's find out. Okay, so this is a trash dump. This guy talks through his nose. What is with that head? Move it or lose it. Sounds like trouble. Ah, <laughs> uh, I feel like I should be talking through all this, but at the same time, I feel like I shouldn't. <laughs> the writing—it's—it's it's worthy of an award for sure. 
Check it to the genius? What? We're waiting. We haven't got all day. Nice work, gang. What have we here, huh? Think you can enter our hideout without permission, huh? Yes. <laughs> Pretty brave for someone so small. We're just geek calling small. Besides, he puts the W in whip. Come again, little man. Funny thing is, the writing actually does seem to have high points. What? And then other parts of this writing seems to be disconnected from all of whatever this game passes for reality. Alright, so I guess we gotta go to the boring, dangerous gardens that I need an adult to take me to or something. That child had a car. That's not exactly camera control, though. That's simply camera follows you, camera doesn't follow you. Alright, let's go. This game is really good at faces. Hey, up, it's a brat. They've been poisoned. So that's the other I knew. She's gonna talk to point everyone and get it down. Oh, that camera. So basically, they're like living tangerines or something. What? You can't read or something? You want me to read it for you? I get no respect. No. Yeah, that this is Panorama Garden. You happy now? Yes. Okay, so I need one of those... These dealies. Think of a platform. There we go. Ow. Okay, so you're friendly, but you're also mean. Got it. There. It came racing in at an incredible speed. If you follow this tire track, you'll be able to hunt them down in no time. Okay, so. Can I jump? I really want to jump on stupid tangerine heads. Okay. Whoops. That's probably fine. Yeah, again, the lack of textures on this thing's... Make it really hard to figure out where they begin and end spatially. Well, the fact that they're round makes them easy to fall off, too. Can I go in the water? Oh, I can. There's a nice little uh, swimming animation. Nice. And if games have taught me anything, there's always a secret behind waterfalls, except in this game for some reason. That running just feels kind of slow. Okay, you look all depressed. No, you're not depressed. Okay, got it. I mean, I already knew that, but I got it. Uh, uh, I'm not supposed to go down there. That's not a staircase. You lied to me, game. Whoop. Whoop. Okay. 
Oh, I see. I gotta make these people angry to punch the cactus because reasons. And now you're not angry anymore. Hooray! Wait, what? What is that? What have I done? I've murdered some horrible creature. <laughs> Oh, there's like a glide. That's kind of neat. Is there anything over here? Yes, there is. Hey, Green. That golden clear is the cream to the cream. If you eat it, something good will happen. I'm betting I'll get more health. Yep. Old gaming conventions still hold true now. And even in different languages. That are still the same language because Japan is weird. Which doesn't make sense, seeing as he appears to be one of those eclair things that I've been eating non-stop. So apparently, genocide of a species means the bigger ones of said species eventually just heal you. Yeah, okay, fair enough. They're gonna fight me in their car, aren't they? Arbitrary, and our little numbskull seems to be okay with it because he's a dumbass. I'm gonna fight these people in a car. Fall the car three times. Okay, so the translation isn't entirely perfect. is kind of random because it's going to be based on how they move and how the tangerine heads hit them. I mean, I can kind of close them into a corner, but because they try to uh, move in circles, that makes it actually really hard. Whoops! <laughs> I like that the tangerine heads are completely fine with getting run over, but if I throw a little red cinnamon flavored orb at them, they get angry. Because that's sensibility. I broke your stupid car, you dumb little jerks. Music's pretty decent. No, 
Okay, that statement's just divorced from all of reality. I think that's fair. Our protagonist would probably hurt himself trying to get home. I thought you wanted marshmallows. What? <laughs> hey, Green, either pee or get off the pot. Well, I appreciate the instant teleportation, though. That doesn't hurt my feelings any. And now we're back to this junkyard. Oh, hey, it's this lady with ice cream hair. Excuse me, but have you seen the petite gang? The petite whatchamacallits? Yes, those guys. I know what our rug rats, munchies. I'm May, and what may I ask your babies? Are you doing here? Well, I saw a bunch of hell meows go through here. Probably up to no good, huh? Probably, but now I'm worried about the petite gang. They could be in... Trouble. <laughs> wow, they were conveniently like four feet to our right the entire time. Who would have thought? That doesn't narrow things down. Half the things in this game have hats. You can. Oh, the faces in this game are just a thing of beauty. <laughs> oh, and the little idiot, he's just bouncing up and down, so jazzed about everything. Nothing could ruin his day. <laughs> so back to back boss oh, fights, is it? What were you thinking, Pony? Go and help him. The soul appear by Rad and Bess. What? That's not exactly convenient. Okay, where's the red one? Ugh. Get out of the way, you idiots. Uh oh. Ow. Okay, gotta knock him down. Then do some things. That's doable. I gotta hit him with a blue thing. Ugh. Yes. The hitbox in this game. They need a wee bit of refining, I feel. Boop. to maybe be on my side. <laughs> oh, interlacing! Have you forsaken me? Oh, 
know the camera certainly has. Uh, uh, there we go. Okay, blue. I need a blue one. Got it. Next. Red. Like, the thing is, you can juggle them. And if you can, you've got them pretty down with very little issues. But if you lose that juggle, that's when things start going kind of bad. That is not what he said. What? Ew, glad that's over. I almost wet my... I did wet my... Uh -huh. What the... Hey, what happened? The toxic coins made you go bonkers. Not you again, pointy. You want some more? Bring it on, squirt! I just saved you, asshole. Wait, wait. This squirt, if you so stupidly put it, is the one who saved you. Thank you. Yeah, pointy did it. Pointy did it? Yes. Think of it, he does not appear to be wearing a shirt. Maybe his shirts were too complex for him to figure out. You were saying? Hello, you little vixen. Oh, dear lord. Now he's gonna hit on ice cream hat. What am I? Sticky boogers, huh? That's also not what she said. Straight into the background. <laughs> really? I like that she's very clearly older than the rest, and yet she's not really any bigger. My name's Tom. I'm the boss, head honcho, chief, the supreme commander, and Don Corleone of the Petite Game. People call me Beth. You can call me your highness. You're the newest member, so you have to do whatever we say. Uh, what she means is whatever they say. I quit. What was that sound? Was it the wind? I'm Red. Nice to meet you. Um, and I, I'm Pop, Pop, Pop. Sure you are. Who am I? Lily. Lily. Such a nice name for such a nice. Hey, he stop talking out of his nose for a second. <laughs> Shane. Expecting your cave, Beth. We're gonna have to get you a new muzzle. <laughs> I, if nothing else, appreciate the writing. Oh no, disconnected. Hey, reconnection successful. Actually, that reminds me. I normally have my computer connected to a router, and it kept disconnecting. So I disconnected it one day and I realized my computer still has access to the internet. It has built-in Wi-Fi. I'm a dumbass. And yet it still disconnects. Uh, it's gotta be my IPS, I guess. Oh well. Man, can't live with them, can't shoot them. Yeah, you can. It's it's really easy to, actually. So what's your deal, pointy? The real trick is finding a gun. And yet you've probably never met this kid before. She's a man with a plan. Well, she knows a lot of things. She's a man? What? Okay, sure. There should be a space in there, but okay. So now we gotta go figure out where their mother is, maybe? Possibly? How do I get out of here? Hey! 
That's impressive graffiti for people so short. Uh, how do I get out of here, though? Oh. Through the obvious. Are you the one who taught the petite gang a thing or two for us? Yes. Maybe things will finally be quiet around here. There's a weird variance in accents in this game. But... Whoa, it opens up quite a fair bit. Some kind of festival. Okay, I need the map. Okay, if I understand this map, and why wouldn't I? It's not like it's a very obscurely confusing map or anything. We need to go this way. I think. Keep going straight and you run into Strawberry Mama's house. You're the same lady as the other British lady. They just pitch shifted your voice. It's a very large sprite. I, I kind of appreciate that they try and use sprites to emulate entrances to different areas. Whoa! That was pretty fast! This is Strawberry Mama's house! Come on, and you're talking Strawberry through your Mama. nose yet again, nose talker. Be down in a minute. That's a voice. Okay. What is it, my little pumpkin? Your tomatoes up no good again? When are you gonna stop treating us like half a kid and start showing us gangsters some respect? What? Adults have ears, but they never use them. Half a kid? Anyways, these two are the new members of our gang. Meet the kid, Pointy, and the lady. Ooh, and what happened to you, my little sweet? And meet Strawberry Mama. We just call her Mama. And sometimes Bad Mama, but she ate that. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> I'm surprised she accepted you calling her fat. I look after them because there is no one else to. Oh, fair enough. Mama, a pointy is lost. Lost, are you, sweet pimple? Well, I'm kind of more in the finding business. That quacky quacker pimple who lives in the jungle is a regular encyclopedia. What? If anyone knows something, it would be him. You know, it's, it's surprising how sober some of the translation work and dialogue in this game is, and then you get weird things that just don't make any sense whatsoever. Okay, so we gotta go to the other side of the world now. William, Makes me almost question why we came here. The pointy. Let's go see Pillow. You don't have to be going so soon, do you? I want to throw you a welcoming pup. Come over tonight and let Boogie down and party. Okay. Uh, I think I'm gonna go find the pillow lady person, man. Uh, yeah, the <laughs> different accents and voices in this game are something else. I mean, I think this game in general is something else. I, I, I think once you experience Pointy's Point, you you can't go back from that. It it changes you permanently. For good or ill. <laughs> but this is what I have for my Japanese PS2 for the moment. So, this is what I'm playing. <laughs> okay, I think we gotta go this way. And it's basically on the other side of the planet. Yeah, okay. And there appears to be another doodle on the map we can go look at. Tickets. It's that pirate movie thing. This game has special faces. Okay, so... Wait, there's a thing over here. Is it this thing? No, it's back this way. I wish this map would work a little less stupid. Okay, it's here. What do we have here? I'm the mayor of the place now. I run shit. Huh. 
Huh. Okay, I'm not sure what that did for me, but okay. You can look at newspaper clippings. Actually, that was a weird thing about this game, because I got this game complete, which is weird for me, but... It didn't come with a manual. Instead of a manual, it had like a little envelope wrapped around what would be the manual, which was like a fold-out newspaper type dealy, so... Yeah, this game is weird. Can I go now? Yes. you need some water, you'll have to ask John. The keys were lost at Panorama Gardens. Uh, okay. Let's go back the way we came, because of course we will. I, I mean, I think they made it pretty clear they only have like four areas outside of the town, so I guess we're gonna have to have some backtrack. This lady has pink hair, as opposed to this lady who has blonde hair. Goodbye, pink-haired lady. I will never know what your story is. But yeah, I don't think this game is super long. It, it did seem like they were kind of indicating there's only like four areas. I kind of appreciate that they're not growing crazy anymore though. At least my efforts are being recognized. Yippee-o. Okay, so we gotta find keys. Which means scour the entire goddamn environment again. Oh. Uh, these things are not nice to jump on. Also, wait. That shadow is not accurate to the proportions of this giant jelly sphere thingy. Lighting in this world is weird. Okay, I still say there should be something over here, but there does not appear to be. Oh, I gotta get this thing to punch the cactus again. It's only half my efforts are recognized, it seems. What a half-assed game. Okay, so we gotta find keys somewhere. I mean, I guess this serves to kind of re-tutorialize you on stuff you should already know, but... There's a key. Awesome. Bring the key. Is that like bringing the pain? Actually, I think it's probably just more nonsensical teleportation for the sake of convenience. Hooray! I have the key, let me in. Here, here, here they are. I'll open the door now. It's the tagline of the game. Yippee yo, you can't touch this. I don't know why either. But that is the be all end all of our character. That's just his deal. I don't know. I, I genuinely just I'm as much along for the ride as you are at this point. Enter at your own risk, John. Okay. This is John's territory. No guest permitted is written here. This is no lake. It's more like a puddle. Some mud that Lolo has been rolling around in. It says, remove all points before entering the water. With all these sunny days, the lake is dried out. Oh yes, it has. Okay. It's a yellow submarine. That's almost like a reference to something. That's not possible though. Throw. Maybe John can help you with the water. Oh yes, maybe he can. You're not very certain about anything, people, are you? Okay, so I'm guessing going into the water... Okay. I was gonna say water automatically destroys these things, but it does not appear to be. You just drop it. Oop, that's not the button. I'm still getting messed up by the lack of flipping camera control. 
Oh, hey, it's a sad person. Let's make them less sad. Or more sad. Because they realized they were in this game. Ow. Oh. Uh. Oh, that auto-dropping is messed up. Yeah! What is that Henshi? That face is special. Okay, so I gotta make you all sad, I guess? Okay, how does someone run a lake exactly? <laughs> what? Okay, I see what I gotta do here. Okay, now you're less angry again. Just get all anxious and stuff. Dear Lord, shut up. <laughs> okay. So, I need to get up there. Making me cry isn't fixing things. There's one up there. For reasons. Hmm. Whoa, okay, that's a bit of a jump. You can't swim holding points. Oh no, you can't. Oh, don't hit me. You're pointy and angry. Oh, you're not actually doing damage to me. Okay, I'm less worried about you now then. I can't make it over there, but there's that thing floating there, which indicates I need to be over there at some point. Okay, well, maybe I can jump up this one. Yeah, alright. Angry! I need angry points. They're cinnamon flavored. Maybe John can help you with the You've already told me this. Stop telling me the things I know about already. <sighs> Falling down. Awesome. I mean, they did say that uh, these guys could fix the water by crying, which leads me to think if I made them all depressed, that would fix everything, maybe, but at the same time, that seems like a dumb solution. Okay. I need that. Ah. I'm just gonna keep blaming the camera. Get out of the way. Fly! You bizarre, dumb, pink-haired, or maybe hatted person without a shirt, fly. Okay, now let's get this guy. Hmm. That's peculiar, I wasn't hovering that time. Okay. So that time it worked. Throw that there. Grab that. Jump and jump. Let's try not floating and just casually fall down there. Yeah, yeah, but it's not because there's no actual lake component to it at this point. Got it. Hey, Green, you recover your damage. How lucky. Which is weird, because all I've been doing is eating its babies. Okay, so water works for that guy. Look at that face. That is a weird face. Okay. I need to make them cry. Ah, more disconnects. Yeah, 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 
All right, I think I'm reconnected. Awesome. Hooray for terrible ISPs. He's a big angry blob to puss. Place for a wee shrimp like yourself. Get out of here before I get angry. Are you John? Depends on who's asking their donut. Excuse me, but I can't get through to the jungle. Please give me some water, Mister. Give me all your water. Mister, you say. Water, you say. Then there's fighting words, laddie. Look around at me situation. There's no water to be lending. It's not be on your way. Go home and have your mommy change your diapers, little man. Now look what you've done. You've gone and made me mouth, body all tired and dried up. Hey, Green, can't but you I don't have a mommy. Hey, That's the point. What? Nobody's asking for your help. Show me what you got or get out of her. <laughs> I'm noticing a severe lack of sunglasses, as protracted, protracted, per, portrayed on the uh, banner behind him. I mean, tears are water, right? When people are sad, really sad, lots of tears come. That's in a very loose sense true. Ready for action. Ready may be. Nobody's asking for your help. Again, no sunglasses on this shark thingy. Uh oh. We're gonna poison him with negative, possibly positive emotions, possibly, maybe. This is me territory, and mean only. I already said that. The hell now, watch your back. Fight shark to puss. Okay, let's go. Me territory and I'll cross your face. What? <laughs> it probably sounded better in his head. I need blue. All I'm seeing are red and yellow. Oh wait, I can mix the two. Ow. Okay, so maybe start with the yellow. That face is awesome. <laughs> oh, this game is special. Some eclair dog thingies. <laughs> okay, so I gotta make him cry, I think is the weird point this game is making. Uh, that throwing needs more range. to make the little squid thing sad. Okay, where's some more yellow things? Oh, come on. Okay, do we have any more of these eclair dog thingies? One. Hey, another one. Hey, another one. I mean, the nice thing is he's slow enough that I can basically just 
scare on the entire environment before having to deal with him. That's kind of nice. Okay, so he's angry. That makes him sad. That makes him angry. to do is get all of them going at once. I could kind of see that. That's a little annoying, but... That doesn't seem to be doing anything. He's happy he just drinks all the water ever. Hmm. Ah, camera! Why is there no direct camera control? start making a bunch of blue ones preemptively and just hit them with a bunch of them at once. Giant fish guy. I'm hoping that does it. Because I'm running out of room to fight. There you go. And that's how you fill a lake with tears, maybe. Hydration, which would then later lead to death. That's what friends are for. You would have done the same for me. I think that's probably the closest thing to a complete sentence our protagonist has said thus far. I you speak the truth, and I'm at your service for life. No matter how dangerous the job, John is here for you. Thanks, but you've been helping up with the water. Well, there's always room for you at my lake. Come whenever you like. But no fishing allowed. Oh, sure. Now there's restrictions. There's always restrictions. Whoops. I think it may have overdone it just a tad. Possibly. Oh, 
You know, I just realized up to this point we still haven't run into the Golden Eclair of the level. I would assume there's one in every level. Hey, the golden or the yellow submarine is submarining now. Submarine Bros and Company. Yeah. Here's a secret for you. Oh yes it is. Just this way leads to the secret route. Secret route to what? Well, let's see if we can get over there. Okay, fly! Damn it. Okay, so it's just hold, not to double tap, okay. Oh yeah. We got over here. That looks like a plant that needs to be watered. I kind of feel like I'm a colossal asshole in this mode because I am causing emotional scarring, making them cry just for the sake of allowing me to platform. You're a monster, pointy. There it is. The Golden Eclair. It is mine. No, you can't touch this. Awesome. I mean, gameplay-wise, it's not too bad. It's... It's a little wonky, but... You know, it's a fun, solid little platform once you get past that awkward camera. Hey, it's this guy again. I make it. There's not much here but sit back and relax. <laughs> sit where? Yeah, the, the camera is just atrocious in this game. <laughs> you can have it follow your character or you can have it sit in one place and that's your lot. I made it wet. Go through the floodgates and you'll be at the lake. Yes, I know. I just came from there. Okay, uh, map. Where do we need to go? Ah, this place where there used to be a building. Got it. Somehow flooding the town removes buildings. Sure, why not? Looks quite nice. What? <laughs> Wee! Uh, Wee! Thanks for saving Moki Wap. Now we'll help Moki. Uh, it says too bad. Start again. What? <laughs> By doing what? That didn't seem to do anything. What are you on about, game? Can't climb on that. It said too bad. Start again. Start again with what? Am 
I just not in the right place? Or something? Oh, there's a thing over here. Maybe this is it. That's kind of dickish. Boop. Just ram your stupid head into that tree. Good. Get out of the way. It says jumping is the key to that. It's a blueberry player, which I think are poisonous. At least these things have texture on them so I can figure out where they begin and end. I want this. Jump. Okay, what's over here? Okay. Some weird ass textures, I'll admit that. The draw distance could be a lot better. Oh, no, you're happy. I can't hit you with a cinnamon flavored jelly orb of doom. it is. It's never right in the front. Never. It's always in the furthest possible point. Because that's how things are. Because challenge. Or, you know, arbitrary punishment. Quit it. Okay, so... I quite like the aesthetic of this place. Wish I could see more than like five feet in front of myself, but other than that, it looks pretty nice. No, 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 crap. Ah. All the way back here. Awesome. Cinnamon flavored jelly orb of destiny. Now we just gotta figure out where we're going with it. Okay, Mr. Angry Pants. Chill out by getting angrier somehow. You're not useful! to the right. Let's see where going to the left goes once I get back up there. Because vertical scrolling is a thing. Seriously, why does vertical scrolling platforming ever have to be a thing? If you're going to do that, at least consign it to a single screen so that falling doesn't reset all the progress ever. I, I genuinely don't know why no one had figured it out by this point. I mean, people should have had this shit figured out back on the NES when they realized, oh, this is actually terrible. Not over here. You're useless. Ooh, camera. Calm down there, camera. There's this guy. We already cured him of his... Negative happiness emotion thingy, maybe. I think that requires something we don't have. I don't have a cinnamon orb. Oh, there's one. I don't want to deal with it, though. Golden! Oh, it's not a golden, it's just a normal. Oh, is it a gold one? It's hard to tell with the lighting. Yep, it's a golden one. Awesome. 
And seeing as the golden uh, guys that give you more health seem to be basically the only collectibles in this game, once you got that, you basically just try and rush through the end unless you want to try and cure everyone. Which, outside of score, doesn't seem to be much of a point. Okay. So it's not like the boss fight that'll just give me infinite eclairs to eat. Making our little moron a diabetic very, very quickly. But at the same time, at least saving his life from the bosses of terrible. Let's fill this lake with tears. And then let's make you realize, oh wait, you just need to stock up on things first. That's sensible boss design. Woo! Okay, so we need a red one. No, no, no! There we go. That guy was having fun with that line. Hooray! Well, evidently. That's why there's a sign telling you there's a house ahead. You Encyclopedia Jones. Everyone says you know a lot about just about everything. Everyone? Everybody? In this mind of mine, locked away, knowledge of anything and everything. Everything in good time. Yes, it does save nine. But now the moment is not the time for telling, but for building. I'll help you build your house. Oh, no. No, please, no. Lucky am I. Help. I need somebody, and not just anybody. But when I'm finished, please promise to tell me, okay? I'm going to make your house out of... Poisonous, angry, emotion, jelly, orbs of doom. I promise, I promise. No worries, no you care. stupid Give duck it, thing. Talk about your back geniuses. Even if he tells us, who can understand it? Listen to what I say and say do I. Knowledge will set you free. Free to be and be to free. Build a house. Oh god, how is this gonna work? I'm... Terrified? Okay. There's your yellow. Next. Red. Oh, stop running around like a spaz and maybe I'll get you there. Come on. <laughs> That is a big ass hammer. That is like Dark Cloud 2 absurd hammer. You know, if you stop running around like a complete spaz. Uh, is he actively going to change the color? Oh, he is. That's kind of cool. Way ahead of you. I have no idea what the hell he just did, but okay. Got it. Quit running away. Oh god. Oh god, that's... Oh, that's bad. <laughs> Ah, uh, stupid poison guys got in again. Yellow, please. Uh, okay, yellow. Wait, no. Yellow, please. <sighs> wow. I wonder if he got hit by the yellow poison ones, but that would be a problem. Because, I mean, it seems like they're only trying to poison these extra guys to cause 
something to get in the way. I'm gonna make you so sad that you make your house awesome. Somehow. That's what he's doing. Somehow. Because he's apparently part woodpecker. Hooray! That actually wasn't too bad. That was probably the easiest of these events. That wasn't really a boss. A boss implies some sort of, you know, challenge, something to go up against. What? Okay, so this guy who knows everything doesn't know who I am. Awesome. There could be a lot of those in the world. <laughs> so this whole thing's been a big waste of time. Got it. Asshole duck. I hope your house falls apart with you in it. Good. So that happened, apparently. Okay. Other side of the world. Of course. I wonder if Pointy's ever gonna see that weird space pirate movie he got so jazzed about in the intro. Okay, now if I understand the weird perspective of the map, it should be that way. Or it's a giant building that is a hotel. This is the hotel my father manages. Pretty sweet, huh? I feel like I should punch you in your stupid smug face. Both for your haircut and also your voice. And your stupid smugness. What? Ah, oh, I see. I wish I could. Punch is not a verb in this game, it just doesn't understand. It's like one of those old Sierra point and clicks. I find that baffling. Please use a proper verb. Oh, that's a face. This game continuing to have amazing fa faces. Back to the place I just was. This game seems to have a weird fetish for just going back to places you were just at to do something you could have done while you were there. <laughs> Backtracking is only good if you can preemptively stop it. <laughs> Uh. 
Uh, the key's gonna be at the bottom of the giant rubble pile that was that stupid duck's house. Uh... <laughs> That's not here. That's here. Where there was a building that's now gone. Again, for reasons not quite explained. Or at the bottom of that stupid pit. Okay. Yep, knock the stupid thing over again. Because reasons. Okay. Nope. Just a very sad blueberry eclair. Ah. Back to the bottom. While I'm here, let's just make sure it's not here. I don't want to get to the top and realize, oh, it's at the very, very bottom. Awesome. And it's a lot easier to get to the bottom than it is to the top. Nothing over there. I could glide, that would have been nice, but I can't because I don't have a jelly ball. There's not appear to be an orb over there. No key over here. It seems to remember the guys that we uh, didn't save, that's kind of a neat feature. Last key was with the golden eclair, which, if it were here, would have been here, but it's not. Not here. Wait a minute. Ah, oh, camera. I don't know if that's a key down there in the bottom left, or one of these jelly balls. It's probably one of the jelly balls, but still. Nope, nope, nope. Oh. Ugh, camera. Ugh. The forest of backtracking because we're gonna have vertical platforming. Because that's a thing people liked all the way back when every other game on the Famicom did it. Oh wait, no one liked that. Why are we still doing this? Okay. Up here. Yeah, it was that jelly ball I saw earlier. Woo. Up here. Oh, I've got a uh, cinnamon orb. I have a cinnamon orb. Thanks. I'm free you tell me something of value, but you know, thanks for general life advice. Okay. Up and over. Now, if I wanted to be a dick and I was designing this game, I would have put the uh, key right there because no one would ever see it, but it's not there. Which at the very least means this game wasn't designed by completely vindictive bellends. What? That just... What? Okay, well that means that... It couldn't possibly be where the boss was. For small mercies, I guess. 
On the other hand, it means that this key is somewhere here, and I can't find out where it is. I feel almost like I should use that old uh, maze strategy of just follow the right wall. It'll eventually find the end. I don't think that would work here, though. Okay, so nothing there for sure, for sure. Am I supposed to visit those question marks before a key appears? Okay, that's actually probably it. Okay, well, we'll give it a once over, and if that doesn't work, we'll try and check out those question marks. Which will probably tell us nothing but set an invisible arbitrary flag that says, Hey, the key's here now. And if you went to look for it before, you're an idiot. Ooh. I'm kind of reminded of that old uh, N64 platformer chameleon twist. In terms of looking for things and having odd camera angles and just platforming being kind of an ass and a half. It's been forever since I've seen that game. Okay. There's a pitcher plant. And a giant Venus flytrap that don't grow that size. Okay, is there anything over here? Found it. Now, those are blue hoops, which tells me I should probably need blue orbs. Also, that is a really bloody freaking blind part of the world right there. I'm assuming I need blue orbs. Maybe I just need to hover? Jump! I'll give credit to this game, the uh, key actually looks different than the other key. <laughs> well. Yeah, let's uh, not hang out here anymore. I think I've gotten everything from this place that I'll ever need. Thank you. Okay. So where's that restaurant? Oh, there it is. I'm so sorry. I just spit out a dong. <sighs> this game would do that. Sounds like something's going on over there. Take a look. Not that. Oh no 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 no! Oh no! Oh no! What's the matter? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, the are what are we gonna do? I'm guessing emotional jelly orbs will solve everyone's problem. Bum -ba -do 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 -bum -bum. Yes, cookie style. I, I have no words. Words do not exist for. Whatever response I could come up for that. We've got a little problem. We, you mean you, pupil? What's your problem? All the cooks are going. Cook, 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 cook. They won't work. We, we, I can't open the restaurant. You what? We can't open the. Oh, Don't you worry, no. Maybe Bully will be able to help you. Yes. Boo. <laughs> I don't know what you boys are on about, eh? Pointy. And why would little pointy boy be here, eh? Are you Bo Cook? You know who I am. I am the cookie. I am the cookie. I am the bully bully cookie. Sure. Excuse me. You know where my house is? Hero said that you being the great cookie are my no. Pointy's house? 
sure. I know where that is, boy. Cookie knows about that, sure. But Cookie might not want to tell you unless you help Cookie with some of his cooking. I am a half-naked, very clearly mentally deprived child. And you're going to ask for some sort of, like, bribe to have me tell you where my house is? Oh my god. This guy's an asshole. I'll be buggered if I'll do all that cooking on my own, boy. Uh. You got some spirit in you, eh, boy? Okay, well, we'll take off first then. You both, you come with Cookie. Come on. And we'll meet Pointy at Cookie's Kaboom Kitchen, eh? Yes. <laughs> that Cookie's sounds Kaboom safe. <laughs> Sounds like a kitchen sanctioned by the Blast Corps. Wait a minute, that's not what it's called. Oh god, is that lava? What? <laughs> okay. Thanks, game, for the ever useful advice okay so you people are just sad ow now you're fixed forever it occurs to me I should probably go the other way around and with the happiness orbs I feel like I need to probably fix everyone before we go and tell us Oh no, you gotta help everyone before we can start cooking! The music's really nice, but it like loops every few seconds, which is kind of bad. Now, I don't know where that. Okay, that was lucky. I was about to say, I don't know where that is, but. There's like no actual camera to tell me where stuff is. I wonder if I can jump in this. Let's find out. Nope. Whoop. That looks like that gets past that giant chicken barricade. Because giant chicken barricades are a thing in this game, apparently. But to be fair, I just ran along giant what appeared to be. Uh oh. Uh Right. Basic color mixing. Right. Now, can they get rid of the chicken? Ah, you make them happy and they eat all the chicken. Got it. Okay. Uh... Hey, more life. And this should teleport me up top, I think? Maybe? Ah, camera! Be careful handling ninja mixes. What does that mean? I can't go in there. I feel cheated by that. But I can, uh, speed up my exit, which is nice. Hey, eat the chicken. Done. Oh, I gotta go back and get those guys. Whoa! Okay, let's try this again. So these guys looked angry. But like weird poison angry, not just standard angry. Oh, they're happy. But, like, aggressively happy or some nonsense. Because every emotion has a positive variant of it. Okay. They're all clear. Okay, now I think we have to move up to the next level. Okay. Uh... 
Is there nothing up here? I'm not seeing anything in here. guys dealt with, I think. Am I supposed to throw things into these snouts? Oh. I see. This is kind of creative. I like this. I could do without the people sitting in the burners, though. That seems... Unsafe. Alrighty. Okay, Captain Depressed. There you go. Oh, hey, that's kind of a clever use of uh, mechanics. Spicy pickles. I've never heard of such a thing. That actually sounds kind of interesting, though. Okay, so now I should be able to walk on those pots because they're no longer superheated. Oh. Okay. Whoops. I just get so depressed you punch that chicken out of sheer sadness, or some nonsense. Okay, so... Well, now you're happy. Um, hmm. So now I gotta find one. I kind of appreciate the puzzle element, even though it's sort of very simple. I don't think I could glide that distance. I'd probably fall on my face halfway through. It'd be just the thing I would do. Okay. And now I hit it with fire. And that ignites that. Oh, that's kind of cool, actually. Okay, so that's number two. Going number three. And... I also need to be on the lookout for one of those golden eclairs to give myself more health. Because RPG elements. Ow. Ah. Wait. Yeah. There you go. just wanted the donut doggy. Donut. Hooray. Okay. Let's get a magical jelly orb of gliding perfection. And this one's all depressed and stuff. So we should be able to hit him with a blue one. I can't jump high enough. Okay. Fire to ignite that. 
Gold Eclair. Oh yeah. Huh, so that would have basically been mandatory. Interesting. I don't think there's any point for me grabbing this, but I'm going to. Because it's there. Okay, so now we're in this one, which is the other burner. Okay. This guy's super, super happy. He's so happy he wants to murder us. Yeah. Gas. Very clearly safe to have around all this lava. I can't see anything going wrong with this plan. That's a proper layout for you. Okay, let's go over here. Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Awesome. Whoa! But that uh, donut was basically useless. Jump. Aw. Okay. Now, if I had a hang gliding jelly orb of destiny, I could get onto that platform, but I don't. Okay, so there are guys down there that are going to be need to be, like, emotionally lobotomized. You know, if you think about it, that's kind of basically what this game is about. It's like, these guys are emotionally unstable, therefore we have to physically remove the emotions from their brain. We are basically lobotomizing dogs at this point. That's where this game is. You're a monster, Pointy, and you're dead. Yes, we will retry. The question is, where do we restart from? Oh, okay, here. This is doable. Yeah, does that guy... Ah, he's fine. So basically, you can restart as many times as you need. Death has no real repercussions. Okay. I, I mean, I can deal with that. That's fine. It's better than a game where death immediately kind of completely screws you over. And suddenly you have to restart the game from your last save point, which, at this point, I will remind you, we have not done yet. Which I really should get on. In fact, that's not what I want. I like the talking menu. Oh no! Is it gonna, like, freeze? Oh, no, it's okay. I mean, I'm of the understanding that a Japanese game should save on an English memory card just fine. But I was worried for a minute. <laughs> oh, no. Saving actually basically froze the game. Awesome. I don't need you anymore, donut dog. Your day in the sun is long since past. I feel like I need to jump on something else to get this one, and I just cannot be bothered. You're depressed? Have some anti-depressing jelly. Okay. So I guess that's that.
I guess we're done here. Back this way. I don't know if this is the most dangerous kitchen I've ever been in. I, I, if I recall, the one in Tonic Trouble was pretty bad, but... Oh, I haven't thought about Tonic Trouble in like 20 years. <laughs> but, uh, that was a frozen kitchen if I recall. This one's a nice kitchen. What? Just, I... Is that a tongue? That absolutely is a tongue. What? <laughs> this game is weird. <laughs> That's the way, boy. Get it, boom. Booming along there, boys. Yes, yes. From the mild to the wild. Boomba kitchen. Ha <laughs> ha. This weird dog pig thing brought to you by Beautiful Joe. Nice timing there. Pointy is the boy from my Boomba Kitchen. Boo -ha -ha. That wasn't the name of the place. When I entered, it was the Bomber Kitchen. <laughs> oh god, we have to cook using jelly emotion orbs of lobotomization. Okay. There you go. Oh god, don't kill me with your sword. <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, I can do that, but don't murder me when I do it. What? Okay, that should have... Worked with red, I think. Jelly chicken salad with some dynamite seasoning, a la full cook. Those are some eyes. Yellow. He's gonna get so excited, he's gonna try and murder us again. Okay. Nah, uh -huh. what? <laughs> That's not nice. What? Oh, okay. They're just oscillating now. How am I supposed to avoid that? <laughs> Jelly beef with red wine and some dynamite sauce. Full cook. And next, give me red. I mean, at least if the angry ones are depressed, they're not moving around. So there's that. That that might not be a bad strategy for fighting these things. Just depress all the other things, and then eventually they just won't try and murder you. That worked out well. Look at those eyes. Whoop. Okay, now it's just oscillating. What? I needed that blue one. Yes, I know, I'm giving you blue. You're mean. <laughs> Got it. Oh, don't go in the fire. That's enough cooking for today. And this is why I don't cook. Well, I mean that and I once almost burnt my house down making cold cereal and milk once. But seriously, cooking is dangerous and it's not for me. Delicious. We'll be back for more. Daddy, my mouth stings. The customers 
are satisfied, I'm satisfied. You've got flavor, Pointy. You saved us. No, I just have lobotomizing jelly orbs. <laughs> Today's cooking was really cook. Now, please tell me where my house is. Never heard of it. Your house? Pointy's house? It's me, kid. Okay, now you're just straight up lying to me, game. some cooking on the house. I'll keep the grill ready for you. Now just go throw yourself into the fire. I guess we're gonna go explore the giant mystery fridge of destiny. The explosion opened up the entrance. It's colder than a witch's That's not a saying. Snowland with creepy bunny things. Here is Snowland. Thank you, game. It's a slippery. Be careful. Yeah, there's ice physics, like every other ice world ever. Thank you. I want that giant present. Actually, it's a half-finished saying, if you want to get technical. I want the giant presence. Oh, there's no traction even when you're putting momentum forward. That is... Weird. Okay. It's a walk slowly on slip areas. But slow is not fun. Ah, uh, it's another angry one. I need a red lobotomizing cinnamon jelly orb. Crazy slider. I have a feeling this is a terrible idea, but we're gonna go do it. And I think it spawned me backwards, so great. Whoa, it's all Super Mario 64 all of a sudden. Whoa. Except even less actually controllable. Well, I don't feel all that much of an actual threat of falling off the track. I think I think there's invisible walls. Or I'm just a lot better at this than I think I am. One of those two things. Probably not the latter. Because I'm bad at all things. Hooray. No, you can't touch this. Okay, so there's a giant exit, but... Where's that in relativity to anything else? Ah! The depressed things. They're gonna roll into me. There. You've already been telling me the thing. Tell me a different thing. We don't get many guests this time of year, Yon. Yeah, because you live in a giant freezer that's always closed. That cannot be my problem. Is there, uh, like seriously, even moving forward, there's like no traction. 
I mean, I get that if you stop inputting, you'd slide, but it's like, you don't have any way to actually start momentum without sliding. It's weird. I suppose that makes it like... Oh god, they live in little ice cages now. That's special. Grab that. Ah, stop repeating yourselves. I feel like I need to go over here. Here's where I'm gonna find, like, the lost golden, uh, eclair ice land of doom. Huh, finally a sensible person in this game. Oh, camera. Yeah. Thanks, camera. You're a real peach. Okay. Uh, and thus, we come back to my original problem when I took that slide, which is, where the hell is where I went in relativity to where I start? Because now I've died and I don't know how to get back. Oh, I think I see it. Okay. I need to throw this. But throwing things doesn't really work. Also, that's a special drawing of our, I hesitate to use the word, hero. Oh, the throwing in this game is so bad. sure you were born from bizarre deformed anime rabbit things and also you look like you're shivering in that water I'm just saying okay so here's where I am and I came out down there there's where I died and there's the what appears to be exit of the area. So let's try this again. There's nothing around this corner. Is there anything around this corner? Or is this just a giant red herring? Yes, it was. I guess I'm going this way. Because of that very reason. Okay, so I need some health. My bobs. But I see no donut dogs nearby. That's a problem. Save the depressed ice thingy. Aren't you cool being naked? Yes. They're repeating themselves a lot more than they used to. Could be that their writers were like on strike around this point in the game's development or something. Hmm. Okay, you're normal. There's a thing down there, very clearly. I'm just... Should I jump and try and make it? Or should I take the alternate path? Ah, screw it. Let's see where this goes. Probably to my death. Oh. That's actually quite convenient. Whoa, that's too hot. 
Okay, so I have to cool down the things, and I should probably do that with a uh, little sadness jellies or something. Although this probably just takes me back down there as safer route without potentially murdering myself. So let's try this way. Oh, you're angry. No traction. Whoa, you're sad. I'm not saving you. I need this hover as a safeguard for jumping. Well, that's been... Whoa, this is pretty. This area looks very N64-y. Hey, there's the gold donut dog. No, I need to eat you. you can't touch this. Okay, so it then ejected me underneath the stage where I took a hit of health. Fine. They're like these little diamond things, they do look like something like Kirby Crystal Shards or something. Or again, like, maybe Chameleon Twist. Although it's been forever since I played that game, so... My memory of that game's a little spotty. <laughs> oh, I can just slide down this way. Observancy! It's a thing I don't have, evidently. It's too hot! That's great. Okay, so I don't know how I'm expected to actually get around this. So we're gonna go to the tried and true method of launching myself off a bridge and hoping I don't die. Okay. It probably isn't the intended strategy, but I can't figure out what they want me to do with that. Don't care, depressed ice bunnies are going to kill me. Okay, so you're crazy. Got it. I want to go somewhere far, far away with you. Yeah, good luck with that. I don't think he's exactly mobile. Hello there. Wow, you are huge. And you'll take me to a fancy restaurant. To a mm, romantic place where we can see the stars and city lights. That snowman's quite the smooth talker. I could learn something or two from him. Oh, when will you notice me and see me for the woman in love that I am? But you do understand me, don't you? Our hearts are one. Awesome. Hello, lady! Ah. Uh. And I appear to be disconnected. And I am. Well, it's actually doing a thing this time. Awesome. It reconnected, then disconnected, then reconnected again. So I guess we're gonna try and fight Crazy Snowman Lady? Maybe? Little Prince? Why didn't you say so in the first place? 
He literally did. My honey here will help you find your way home. What? <laughs> At least that's what he says. Oh, how I wish he could speak to me. Oh, men are so cold. They never tell you how they feel. Please help me show him how much I love him. Her face looks like a giant potato. <laughs> I am just sure he feels the same way. Okie dokie, bunny, ready for action. Oh, God. We must melt him with cinnamon flavored lobotomizing jelly balls of destiny. Go kick some hell yum butt. Red, blue, yellow, same feeling. Okay. Okay, so do I have to make her the same emotion as another jelly ball? I okay, she, she's happy. Awesome. Okay. That's not too bad. Oh, and then, like, kiss her something. Oh, he's all depressed. You just don't get him as the super depressed, awesome, giant-headed snowman he is. Where are you? Ah, uh, stop flying away. Ugh. Don't try throwing anything in this game. It never works. Hooray. Now you're a big angry snowman. I guess. Oh. Stop flying in random patterns, lady. hit lady with a red one but all these stupid guys uh, I mean I guess I'm supposed to deal with them but I just don't want to <laughs> this is like every fight in this game is just we're gonna throw a bunch of arbitrary extra people into it just to get in the way okay now you're angry there that should do it Hooray! You can't touch this. Ooh. Looks like we almost disconnected again. I think we're okay. I am Snowman. Hey, he does talk. Awesome. Snow Yanka. I love you. Oh, darling! Praises be to you, Pointy! <laughs> oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Do you know where my house is? Nope. I have never seen you before. <sighs> I don't think you are from Jelly Town. Try looking in the next town. The town next door? I would have never thought of that. That's the obvious thing, if no one recognizes you. Be sure to help a lot of people. Let's get a move on. What do you say, Green? Wait! Before you go, take this! And if you're going to the next town, you'll have to take the train. Try asking old Edgar at the station. He can help you. Okay. Thanks. The best of happiness to both of you. Aww. That's nice of him. Bye bye. Hey, Green. Well. Go to the station.
and it looks all old westy because of reasons. Don't question it. Donut dog. So, we were abandoned in town by our mother. Who's from a different town altogether? Okay, fine. Maybe she just wanted to never have to deal with him again. He doesn't seem all that bright. Fragile. I think that's little duck thing on our ass right now. Whoop, whoop. Alrighty. Where are you young whippersnappers from, eh? Yikes. We don't know, that's the whole point. Oh dear lord, you're a train. He's not actually acknowledging the question. But I'm too old and tired. I don't have much time left in this old world. They're gonna scrap me anyway. You're not too old, you're just too stubborn. Give us a ride, you old geezer. <laughs> uh, well, he's straight shooting, if nothing else. I hear you, sonny boy. I guess these old bones could make one more trip for you. Really? Shaking. Oh, it's Douchey McDouchington. Oh, ho, ho. It's that hot rod Pierre again. Look at the beautiful, glossy shine of this body. And the car's not bad either. Ah. Oh. 2,000 screaming fillies of horsepower. The Pierre Special Type Z Dream Duster. A fine car. A fine... Come on, train. Run him over. He doesn't look like the sharpest knife in the drawer, but the kid knows his cards. No, I don't think he does, but I agree, he's not that bright. Is there something I can help you with, Pierre? Or are you just trying to get me steamed? Both. We're on our way to the next town. Traveling to the next town? That's too bad. The road was just closed to traffic. Well, closed until you can beat my car in a race. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? My father owns all the land between here and there. That's why. Race me all rust, old Edgar. So, if we win, you will let us pass? Of course, of course. If you win, that is. Have it your way, Pierre. What an asshole. We'll race you. <laughs> it's the douchiest man alive. I just need to throw some red spicy chorizo jelly orbs into your furnace and then you're good to go. Oh, Pierre, he's gonna make this geezer drop dead on us. I may be old, but I'm not deaf, duck face. We don't have all day here, Edgar. Get your button gear and take it to the next town. What? What are you talking about? Hold on there, Grandpa. You said you'd take it to the next town. I don't think I can do that. Oh, good. We're lost in the middle of the desert. Awesome. And why not, you old geezer? Is tonight bingo night at the old folks' home? No, no. That's tomorrow night. I just can't remember where these tracks go. Well, you're a train. 
they go in one direction. Follow it and you'll figure it out. Get the Jerita. The old man's losing it. Boss, not present, not here, nor there. Oh no, it's Gone, Duck away. Guy. Out to lunch, back at one, missing. <sighs> Strawberry Mama is missing, but she was my bingo partner. Come on, Las Vegas King, take us back. We'll look for Pony's house later. Grab your britches, boys. This train is bound for glory. Oh, sure, now you can move at a decent clip, old man. Ugh. This game. Sure, why not? What bit that now? Who bit that now? Are we back in the sewer system again? Hey, hey Green. Reusing assets. Awesome. Hey Green, you feeling alright? Sure. I'm feeling fine. Don't move. Okay, that's a face. Yeah. What beat that now? Monster! Yeah! Well, to be fair, we're a half-naked child with a duck strapped to our ass, so I don't think we're doing much better in that department. I don't be seeing no monsters in here. But people say there are scary monsters in the sewer. Scary monsters? What be them? Not looking in the mirror, dude. Me not scared. Please don't be running away. This be my house. Make yourself at home. I always be alone. I don't have no friends. Nobody be visiting. I feel like that voice my is at least a couple tones of racist. <laughs> they don't like it no bit. Maybe want to make friends with the people in town. You're not scary at all. I'll be your friend, Barbary. He never introduced himself. Yeah, well, whatever, Stinky, but sure, sure, Pony will be your friend, but let me ask you just one thing. Who died in here? Where are you hiding the body? I love dirty places. And the dirt keeps me company. And the smell, it smells like roses to me. Hey, Green. Roses don't have a lot of a smell to them. They just kind of smell like water. Just when we was the common friend. Don't worry about us. We've been here before. We know where the door is. It don't work no more. The explosion from the restaurant fixed that all right. You oh, can't good. get out that way no more. <sighs> you telling me we're stuck in the stink hole forever? I'll make a pass. You can go out there. Coolio! Thanks, Barbary! I'll go ahead, all right? That's a very kind giant stink mutant. Donut dog. Okay, I assume we go up this way. Okay, this is a... This looks suspiciously like a boss arena. I would think we wouldn't want to go down. Yeah, 
might want to rebrand yourselves. Oh crap, I'm trapped up here. Oh, oh good. Disconnected. Looks like we vaguely sort of kind of are. Disconnected. Oh, 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 yeah, reconnected. Awesome. Okay, so you're telling me they need to not be sad. Just like every other puzzle we've run into. Fix things for these people, fine. Is that fixed? Is, is everything fine now? Can we go on? I think we missed a golden donut dog. Oh well. You know, for a weird sewer mutant that lives in nothing but a giant, you know, pit of toxic slime, you would think it wouldn't be able to be poisoned. Disconnected. Oh, I think we're back on. Awesome. So back to fighting the giant poisoned monster of... It already lived in poison, damn it. Oh, I can't go in there. Okay, that's a problem. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. I'll leave that there. Since he's hiding, I just have to run him around. Oh, hey, there's his tail. Maybe I can hit that. Go away, you big, aggressively happy thing. Stop being aggressively happy, damn it. Donut dog. Hey, I can make those guys disappear, that's kind of cool. No, I think I want to make you guys angry to knock him out of the pit. Maybe. Because it's either that or try and hit his tail with these things. I mean, I can do that, but I'm not sure that's the intended result I'm supposed to try and achieve here. Okay, I just have to make him have friends who will eat the horrible trash pile he lives in. Because of course he does. Okay, now let's try and fight this thing. Okay, red, blue. Blue, 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 blue. Yellow. Blue. Red. 
I can do basic color-coded matching game. Yellow. Done. Awesome. The poisoned monster that lived in nothing but toxic sewage is back to not being poisoned because that makes sense. This guy again. Yes, you, the babe in the sunglasses. How would you like to spend some time with God's gift to the female species? Oh, dear Lord. You've got to be joking. Besides, I'm too busy and you're not my type. Let me give the pleasure of knowing you. I'm Pierre. Please do let me know if I can help you. With anything. Anything? Okay, then follow me. And then it's a date. <laughs> but, but where are we going? To Planet Point. What? <laughs> hey, Green. Well. Let's go investigate the missing persons report no one can be bothered to do anything about. That's just sensibility. Send a half-naked dumb kid to do it. Oh, where can she be? It's not like her to just leave. I'm hungry. With her gone, who's gonna feed me? I wish she would come back. Dreamy, you're just in time. Strawberry Mama is missing. Here's what we are gonna do. In the name of the petite gang, I command you to go find her and bring her back. And we're gonna sit here and do nothing, so get to it. Okay, I'll go too. You're going to? Well, okay then, I guess we're going to. <laughs> oh, Mama! What is with that kid's head? Where are you going? Wait for me. It's either a hat or that kid has horns or some nonsense. So the first place we're going to look for the missing person is that person's house. That's sensible. Okay, her house was around here, I believe. But if she's missing, why would she be here? I would think you'd have already checked here, you dumb kids. And she's here. The fact that she's where she lives does not constitute lost, you dumb shits. Oh my god. And like every other person we fought because emotional imbalances that require some form of like brain surgery using gelatinous orbs by doing not a damn thing. Okay, so we have to trick her into eating wrong flavored coins or something? Oh god, that adds- oh, that's- okay. 
<sighs> so if she eats it, it adds to her counter. Ow. I need a red one, I need a red one, I need a red one, where's a red one, here's a red one. Ugh. Okay. I'll give her a hug. Okay, next I need a yellow one. This is an interesting take on the kind of established mechanics. Because she's immune until you throw one in her face. Oh, that's not good. But she also adds to her setup. Red, okay. Ow. Okay, next we need a blue one. We need a yellow one, which I just wasted crap. Out of the way! Oh. Knock her down again, would you? Oh, the throwing in this game is so bad. There we go. That's actually a neat sort of, uh, addition to the basic mechanics we've already learned. I kind of like that. Yo, you can't touch this. Not too bad. Eric, where are you, son? What? What are y'all doing here? Oh, mama! Yeah! Mama's okay! Mama, you went eight from the toxic point! We cured you from the toxic point! You did now, did you? Who is Eric? My son. He was here a minute ago, but... Your son? We never knew you had a son! He never actually existed. She was just crazy the whole time. But Mama, Eric isn't here! You're right. Eric is gone. I guess what I saw was Eric's ghost. That explains it perfectly. No, I ain't heard of stuff like this. I'll bet it's the work of Halloween from Ghost House. Halloween is a ghost who likes to pull pranks on people. And I'll bet That's that convenient. Halloween and Lolo are in cahoots together. Besides, Lolo is the only one who can use toxic coins. Yeah, like she said, cahoots. Anyways, leave it to me. Oh, huh? Are you biting off more than you can chew again? Let's send the younger kid who can't even dress himself properly. Okay. Let's get going. That is a 2D backdrop. Look like it anyway. Awesome. Yeah, I'm the youngest, the smallest, and I can't even dress myself. I didn't want to be in the first place, you jerk. He's just everyone's whipping boy. Stock scream sound effect. That's a face. It's the guy from uh, Real Monsters. Uh, 
ghosts for a long, long time. The ghosts don't like outsiders invading their realm. <laughs> the ghosts here are a bit timid, so just pretend you are scared. Excuse me, excuse me, but do you know somebody named Halloween? I'll give you one guess, kid. Halloween? Yes, of course I know her. Try entering the nightmare vision dream world. Then you can see Halloween inside. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to enter the dream world? Shall I take it? Well, as you wish. Prepare yourself for the dream world of. <laughs> Why not? Now we're suddenly in Psychonauts. I am the milkman. My milk is delicious. It's fortified with nutrients. I need to play Psychonauts again. Oh, that's a neat sign. That sounds promising. Jump. That's a camera angle of some description. Suddenly, an Alice Madness returns. Now we get a poorly drawn 2D cutscene. And we walk out the door. Okay. I got blue. That's not really a complete sentence. Okay. I guess just take damage and run through it. Got it. If you didn't have any coins, you'd be just another stupid head. Oh, that's not nice. It says don't turn your it says, don't turn your eyes away. What you see may not be what you get. What? Oh, no, he's angry. Good. Get it. That's what we wanted. Okay, so don't look at fog then, maybe? Fake erase. What does that mean? Does that mean make them all sad so they make that weird fog? I guess so. Or something. Maybe the game is just tired of me being dumb. Hey, there's a thing out here. I don't want to deal with you. Can't go in there. Spider web probably means don't tread on that. There's nothing over there. At least nothing that looks important. Um, you mean like that? Huh. It's the anti, uh, Mario 64 piano. Am I supposed to hit him with something? Hmm. Alright, let's see if this guy can give us some help. Help me. 
Uh, okay, just make people sad. Just makes it fun. I guess. To erase his stuff. Oh, which pushes him over there. Okay, I see. That's semi clear. Does this piano attack? No. It says a path to the truth will be opened unto you. That sounds rather zen. I feel like I need to hit. Ah! Okay. Interesting. So this. The path is actually invisible. That old chestnut. Okay, well. If I can just uh, glide over there, it shouldn't be much of a problem. Allegedly, that's a good plan. Ooh, donut dog. Grab another blue one. Okay, now you're fixed forever. Now, will this illuminate the invisible stairs? No, it won't. Hmm. Yeah, I know what it says. Thank you. Ah. There's no ground over there? That's bizarre. Uh, yeah, I know what it says. Thank you. No more donut dogs around here. That's something of a problem. I'm seeing a thing up there, though. Whoops. Oh, I can just go up here. I didn't see this at all. I see what I need to do. I think. Let's experiment. I mean, I only have no life. I'll be fine. Well, okay. So, at the very least, there's a thing there I can glide to. And from there, I should be able to just glide to those stairs. I think. Ah, uh, I have shortcutted the puzzle. Awesome. Uh, I don't have a thing for that, though. Okay, so I don't have a thing for this. Can I go backwards? Will it open up a whole new path for me? No, it won't. Okay. Let's grab another uh, happiness blob. Still feel like I need to go to that door. Ah, oh, you're angry. It's not constructive anger, though. Ah. And it turns out there's a small ledge you can't see that will lead you to that door, which is where you actually need to go.
Okay. Whoa. What's that huge drape? I see, it's a whole wall like around this, so you couldn't possibly get there if you wanted to. I think is what it's trying to tell us. So does that mean I need to actually go in here with it? No, because it means that... Hmm. No. Item. Hmm. There's a gold eclair over there. I'd rather like that. But there's no way to uh, open that up. I guess we will not do that. But maybe. Oh. Maybe we can reveal more by getting all of these guys. And, you know, just get myself murdered for funsies. Uh... Huh. Still not sure to get that golden eclair, but, you know... Progression is progression, and that's the important thing. It's gonna be one of those endless hallway dealies, isn't it? Can't go through there. It's one of those things where you gotta go back and the door's like right there. What? Oh god! It wasn't quite what I thought it was. I see. So we're getting all MC Escher up in here now, are we? Fine. I'll be leaving, thank you. That was actually kind of clever. That's good one of these giant clear monsters is just here. is fakes. And I should just be able to go and push her into the fog like that. Boom. Problem solved. Okay. Weird blurring effect aside. It's a giant thing. Yes. He's not here. Not here. No, I wouldn't say he's not here. In fact, I would say he is quite. Yeah, because he's you, dumbass. Silly, willy, milly, vanilly. I'm Halloween. Yeah. No kidding. Okay. 
Okay. How am I supposed to hit you? Okay, so that didn't work. Try and position one of these guys between his attacks. They reflect it, maybe? How do I beat you? Okay, that didn't work. Okay, now if you're asking how I did that, the answer is I don't have any clue. Blue. Blue meets red, turns to yellow. I think he just has to walk into them. I think. Maybe. blue, that one's red. That one's yellow. That red one's kind of... Yeah, that red one's chasing it. Okay. Okay, so we need to chase it with a red one. Okay. I think I'm starting to get this guy down a little. I think you kind of have to hit him with all three at once, sort of. Maybe? I see. Okay, I can make that work. Okay, we gotta crush him with the statues. And that's yellow, so I need that color. And squish! Alright, now we're making progress. No, there's multiple ones. I always hate when bosses do this. Especially when, like, all three of them actually can do damage to you. That is the worst. Okay, there we go. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, that's not fair. Donut dogs. There's the little red one. Just gonna get out of the way. There we go. Oh good, now he's invisible. Well, all we can do is send these guys to pick fights with them, because we can't fight them ourselves. Donut dog. Ah, uh, invisible enemies. We 
because when they're something invisible in the house, you hit these guys with light and they flash and suddenly they come at them. Oh, there we go. Alright, there we go. Stupid little ghost jerk. Point out that didn't really benefit us on the quest to figuring out where we came from. I'm sorry I hit you, but I was poor. <laughs> no one ever comes to visit me. I was jealous of all of your friendship. Yeah, I wouldn't say I'm friends with any of them, really. I'm just their errand boy. Point me in the right direction of my house. Please forgive me for my antics. Here, take this. Oh, more juice. Awesome. Hey, what's that thing? <laughs> what is it? What? What? Look, it's Lolo and Pierre. Oh, no! Go down to the map. I can't take it. Sure. Anymore. I have something I have to tell you all. She's my clone. Well, friends is a strong word. I was born on Planet Point. <laughs> well, that explains where you got this weird duck thing that's strapped to my ass. This is the planet where Point was born, too. So to you all, I guess you would call us aliens. Aliens? I guess that makes us interstellar lovers. Oh. And Lolo is my little sister. We came to your planet to have some fun, but I got in a fight with her and ran away to your town. And she teamed up with a hell meow and poisoned your town. Your sister, that figures. Yeah, it was kind of obvious. They have the same hair. Point that she is up to something with Pierre. We have to stop her, or something terrible will happen. But she took the only rocket. Oh no! <laughs> what am I gonna do? I wanna go to Planet Point too. Planet Point may be the least of your worries. <laughs> Pierre is famous for being cleverly crafty. Together, and the douchiest man alive. Planet after planet. We just happen to have this rocket ship. Don't give up hope for there, my little no reasons. The owner of the hotel in town is a pack rat collecting all kinds of things. He may just have a rocket mixed amongst his junk. As you do. Points have been in this town since the beginning, right? There may even be someone living here who is from Planet Point. You're right. Thanks so much, ma'am. Who are you calling ma'am? I'm only 24 years old. That's depressing that I'm older than her. Also, I don't believe that. Again, spawning us facing backwards, and they could've just spawned us out here. Okay, so, we need to go to the hotel. Got it. That'd be this way, because camera! Also, how is that guy not an alien? Hello? Someone give me a rocket ship, please. Oh, 
open. Is there a button or something back here? It turns out this whole thing is a rocket ship. There's no one here. Okay, well, let's touch the guy in front. Maybe he knows something, but probably not. Which means you'd fly in the air. I'd like to see that. Got a hunch that it's going to take off? Well, don't plan on it. What? <laughs> Which means you'd fly in the... That's not slippery at all. Alright, so what's in here? We found it! Pointy, look! There's a rocket here! That's convenient. It's pretty old, but the main system seems to be working. Come on, we've gotta hurry! Huh. We're here. Welcome to Planet Point. Complete with echo sound effect. So, this whole adventure about trying to find where I live, which was the next town over, has gotten even further sidetracked, it seems. Donut dogs. I want to eat you. I feel like I'm on a rejected set from Space Channel 5. That's right. It says, Welcome to Planet Pine. Awesome. It's only eye bleeding. Okay. So we can't go this way. Oh good, so we're gonna have to deal with all of these guys. Coolio to the max. Most none of them are actually appear to be depressed, they're just angry and happy. I guess they're one of the many enemies that just seem to just sit around when they're sad. Okay. Happiness booster go. Okay, now fix it. I'm... Thank you, I know. Okay, so I need a red thing to make this guy less angry. Which hopefully will cause this entire air to be opened up. Because I see a giant door with an exit I want to go through.
Okay, so you're uh, absolutely no help. Awesome. Sound like sound effects from, uh... I want to go through there. I mean, am I supposed to jump on these TVs? Where am I supposed to go? <laughs> I mean, I can get up here, but there's nothing up here. Are you happy enough to fix things yet? Fix the door, please. Huh. How the hell am I supposed to get through this? <laughs> Fix things with your electric power. You creepy robot guys. Oh, am I supposed to go in there? Like I say, if that's where I need to go, that's not well signposted game. Okay. That's clear. Well done, game. From a different planet? He was playing you from the start. <laughs> this guy's such an asshole. <laughs> Well, you're already rich, but we're on a different planet. Plot twist. Mother, what should we do? I thought we passed the law banning French people. Oh well. <laughs> uh, well, if it isn't a law, it should be. He's a half-naked child who can't figure out where his mother went. He can't dress himself. How the hell is he your only hope? Also, whoa, that hurts the eyes. Okay, I've already helped enough of you assholes. I'm leaving. Ugh. But I don't want to deal with you guys. I thought we were clear on this when I cleared an entire room of you, and you did nothing for me. Ugh. Oh yeah, sure, now you open the door for me. Ugh. Okay. Angry. Depressed. Uh-oh. Angry. And mix depressed with angry, and you get happy. The lemon flavored jelly ball. Lemon flavor is not very good in anything. Boop. All right. Oh, hey, a sign. That's. This game's really great at not telling you valuable information. I gathered that, so fix this one. Did you fix it? No, you didn't. Uh, okay. 
Okay. So am I supposed to supercharge you? Ah, yes I am. There, you've been supercharged. Well, that was kind of a neat effect. This interior design reminds me a little uh, rocket robot on wheels. So that looks kind of like a weird space uh, amusement park. Angry. Sad. Electricity. Oh, does that have to be red? Oh, I need red. I think. Hmm. Well, let's try blue. Oh, unless... Nope, not supposed to climb up there. G-Force? So, what, did that change the gravity of the rest of the place? Oh no, it just completely changed where we were. Got it. Hey. Yeah, heal me. You weird intergalactic, uh... Giant, uh... Donut dog of mystery. Be constructive angry. Okay, so those lines affect something. Okay, I think it's just, uh, refers to them being powered up. So you just have to light them all up. Okay. I can do this thing. Okay, something's happening. I think it would have something to do with this weird pattern on the wall, but it doesn't appear to. Sign, explain things. It says elevator room. Please wait. It says elevator room. Please wait in line. I'm number one in line because I said so. I don't even think that's an elevator. I think that's just a different teleporter. Or a catapult. Yeah, it's this smug jerk. If it isn't little pointy, what's shaking? Also, he's not French. What's shaking, bacon? Good old pointy, always a day late and a point short. Once again, I am the one who is in the winner's circle. <laughs> Olé! Mother! Lolo! <laughs> the Jaguar! Frog? It's time for revenge. Whoever falls off here three times is a loser. Revenge for what? You haven't done anything to me.
yeah, it's literally the first fight again. Except not against a car. There's one. Okay. Let's basically just throw things at the enemy. Got it. I can make that work. Oop, that didn't work out as well as I'd hoped. Also, the guy's got uh, optic blasts. Okay, that should not have hit him. Too. Oh, and I think the platform's actually shrinking a little. Not really enough to make it a problem, though. There we go. There's that, I guess. Nice face. Yippee yo! I did it! Yep. Mother, we're safe! What am I going to do with you two? You girls really have to learn to play together. Thank you, Pointy. Thank you. Mommy! What's the matter, Green? Do you miss your mommy? Yes, that's the whole point of this journey, is I miss my mommy. And you, Pierre, have you learned your lesson about pranks? Yeah, you tell him, mother. Hey, you're the one who started it all. Yeah, have you learned your lesson about pranks? <laughs> it's not even prank, it's world domination. I am sorry, it will never happen. Okay, then. Pointy... That shadow is not proportionate to the size of his character. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, because we're, what, like, three and a half hours off track of that quest? Don't you worry now. I'm sure they can help you find your mom. It did well better. After everything. My giant space pirate. Exactly, am I looking at? All right, we gotta go save the world from a Godzilla-style monster. I appreciate this. Actually, it turns out it's his mother. Some building on the right. Here it is. It's the other now missing building because reasons. Uh. Because well designed environment. No 
They're all quoting him now. That poor that person is probably your mother. I do this thing that you're asking me, game. You have a water one. Okay, so I mean I can hit her in the order of the other ones, that's not too much of a problem, but... Throw something at her! Get her attention, you dumbass! Can I just throw that at her? No, of course that would be too simple! Oh, I see. Just feed her enough children and then she'll leave you alone. Got it. <laughs> Ouch. Still, I mean, it works. And there's enough donut dogs around. Go hug her. Go hug her as well. <laughs> Donuts. Alright, red goes to you. Ow. And red goes to you. Come on. Go and hit her. Come on, guys. Where are you? Go on. Go and hit her. <laughs> With your magic, love, hate, orbs of uh, lobotomization and emotion and shit. She does actually have to crash it. That's peculiar. Donut dogs. There we go. Come on, run into her again. We're supposed to go down. Come on. I'm just gonna sit here and she can crush me. Ah, oh, that did nothing. down. Yeah. 
There we go. Next, I gotta make her happy. Jelly orbs. There isn't even a red one around. What am I supposed to do now? There's no more red ones. I can't even mix them with other ones. Okay, well, that kind of works. That's kind of annoying, though. Oh, we're just gonna take away everything that can hit her. I mean, it'll work, but it's just... It arbitrarily makes it take longer. And that should have done a lot more than it did. Or didn't, rather. Yeah, she said she lost her baby who can't dress himself. She's all happy and stuff. Which is weird because they seem to respawn indefinitely up until this point. What? Since when? What? We were so close. Hey, pointy. Use me. I mean, after all, I'm a point. Use me and save your mom. No. Don't worry, Ted. I'm a point. I can pop and come back some other time. Thanks, Pony. No worries, honey. Baby you know, baby this little baby. duck thing that's strapped to my ass never did get a proper name. Never did get a name. Poiny. It's just known by what it is. Poiny. Yep. Oh, that's good old Maraca head. In Jellytown the entire goddamn time. What? Jesus, he was a moron. <laughs> so that happened somehow. <laughs> This, this is a game that happened, uh, if nothing else, it's certainly an experience that will be life-changing. I, I certainly don't think I can bounce back from this. I, I think anyone who will ever witness this video and stream will be permanently changed, and I don't remotely apologize for that. 
This is entirely a Japanese cast that did the English voices. They did a pretty impressive job for what that's worth. But, uh, that's been this. I'll leave you with the credits. Uh, feel free to check out my YouTube channel and my Twitch stream. Follow both. Maybe check out my Patreon. Help support me so I can continue to look at weird Japanese games for my PS2 that I now have. And, uh, I'll see you next time. Peace out, Internet. Wrong one.